A special sessions court here on Monday reserved its order on the bail plea of Bank of Maharashtra's MD and CEO Ravindra Marate after his counsel argued that the top banker's arrest was illegal as the police had failed to secure the prior permission from the Reserve Bank of India RBI. Marate and other top officials of the nationalized bank were arrested last week in connection with a cheating case lodged against Pune-based builder D.S. Kulkarni, popularly known as D.S.K., and his wife Hamanti. The arrest of Marate is illegal. Since he is the CEO and MD of a nationalized bank, he holds the rank of a secretary. A permission of the Reserve Bank was mandatory before starting his arrest procedure. The CBI's anti-corruption branch is the competent agency to investigate such cases, where a public servant of a nationalized bank is involved, senior advocate Harshad Nimblekar, appearing on behalf of Murate, told the court. The prosecution did not oppose Murate's bail plea and submitted that his custody was no longer required as the necessary documents were already seized by the officials of the Economic Offense Wing EOW, of Pune Police. Judge S. N. Sardise reserved the order till Tuesday. Marate is accused of misusing his powers to sanction a loan to DSK, who is in jail, along with his wife. Nimblekar said sanctioning the loan of 100 million rupees to DSK's firm DSKDL, DS Kulkarni Developers Limited, was not an individual decision of Marate, but a business decision, and all the rules were followed while sanctioning and dispersing it. contended that charges under the Maharashtra Protection of Interest of Depositors MPID, Act and the IPC could not be pressed against his client as the depositors had deposited their money with DSKDL and not with the Bank of Maharashtra. When a loan of 100 million rupees was sanctioned, the bank, while following the rules, had secured it by having a collateral security of 105.2 million rupees from the firm. After DSKDL failed to repay the loan, the account was declared a non-performing asset NPA, Kulkarni and his firm were declared willful defaulters and further action has already been initiated by the bank, Nimblekar told the court. He added that the auction of some of DSK's properties was scheduled for July 23rd. Nimblekar also told the court that the day-to-day -day functioning of the bank was getting affected due to Murate's arrest. Marate is currently undergoing treatment at a private hospital while in judicial custody. Meanwhile, DSK's son Shirish Kulkarni, one of the accused in the cheating case against his father, surrendered before the Sessions Court today, a week after his pre-arrest bail plea was rejected by the Supreme Court. Shirish, the managing director and CEO of DSKDL, was remanded to police custody till July 2. Besides Marate, the EOW has arrested Bank of Maharashtra's Executive Director Rajendra Gupta, Zonal Manager Nidhiyanand Deshpand, former CMD Sushil Munit, DSKCA Sunil Gatpad and Rajiv Nawaskar, the Vice President of the Engineering Department of DSKDL, under various sections of the MPID Act and IPC. According to the police, the bank officials allegedly colluded with DSKDL by misusing their powers and authority with a dishonest and fraudulent intention to sanction and disperse the amount under the garb of a loan. In May, the city police had filed a 37,000-page charge sheet against DSK and his wife in the case. As per the charge sheet, the total scam is worth 20.43 billion rupees, wherein the accused floated nine different firms to siphon off the funds collected from 33,000 investors and fixed deposit FD holders, who were promised good returns on their FDs. The police are probing the role of the bank officials in sanctioning loans to the builder without following due diligence. According to the complaint filed with the EOW by one of the depositors, investors had put lakhs of rupees in a fixed deposit scheme of the SK developers but they neither received the interest nor the principal amount. The developer and his wife were arrested from Delhi on February 17 by the Pune police.